today we are going to see a demo of php rest api generator from microsoft sql database so first is how you can download the tool so i go to get automator website click on login and it will ask me for the email which i have registered with and then i'll send a otp you will get a email with that otp you can copy that otp from your email as one time password and then paste it here and sign in in your account you can see your licenses which you have already purchased And if you notice I have a license here for MS SQL to PHP REST API generator. So I will take that license, copy that and now I will go to my tool. So if I download that tool, I will have to click on this download link. So you can download that. I already have downloaded. Once you download the tool, you will have this folder which will have the sample database. a sample api generated for your reference and some documentation how to use the tool and the actual generator from through which you can generate the code so let's start and see how we can generate so you have to click on exc the first thing you have to do is to register your tool so i'll put my email id and then the license code and select from where i have purchased so in my case i have purchased from getautomated.com and then click on register once your tool is registered you will notice that what tool you have registered so you have a registration of ms sql to php rest api generator i'll click on that tab and here is my tool which will allow me to generate the code so in my case where is my database so i need a ms sql database so i have a sql express installed in my local host so if you notice i have a bike stores as a sample database which i have downloaded from internet which contains some table like branch category customer order items order products and for this table i want to create an rest api in php so i will take this table name go to my tool again and name the project as bike store api you can name it whatever you want my server is in dot which is my local host server and the database name is bike store port is not required in my case because i am using default port and then i can select windows authentication as i am running it locally and click on test which will validate my connection so if you are using a remote database you have to enable the remote sql connection in your server and once the database is successful you can see all the list of table for which is there in the database so these all table can be used can be selected to generate the api so let's assume i want to generate for all the table so i'll select all table and here if you notice there is a section where i need to select for what username password table i need to generate the api which uses jwt token so in there is one option you can generate either a hard coded name like you can hard code something like admin admin123 as password or you can select your authentication table so in my case i have a customer with authentication as email username as email and password as password column okay so i selected customer as my jwt authentication user and then i click on generate and if you notice all the 
tables are processed one by one and the code is generated at this place so once the code is generated you can go to that folder and then notice that the code is already generated so i'll just walk you through this code once i'll open that code in visual studio editor okay so the first important thing is the database connection so i have a config folder where i am defining my database details so in my case i am using sql server pdo sql server which will help me to protect from sql injection and other thing then I have an object folder which contains all the SQL queries related to the table. So let's uh, I will see the for the product. So I have a function like total record count. I have search count. Then it's not properly formatted, so you can format the document. Then I have search record count read is there then you have search then you have search by column which is dynamic search then you have read one then you have create and then you have a update then you have update patch then you have delete and then there is some extra function like read by brand id which is a foreign key i guess and then read by category id which is again a foreign key so it will automatically generate the code so for product what all apis are there so i have a create api p delete api i have a read by brand id api i have a read by category id api read one is there read all is there search by column is there search is there update patch is there update is there so these individual files are a separate api in the php so it's a simple php without any framework so you have this type of url will be there like product slash create dot php as a endpoint so and it, this can be create modified to create a put some more logics put your own business logic to have a better control over your api there is a token folder where you can create identify what are the secrets you want to use for jwt what are the exp how much expiry expiry date you want to set so these are the configuration of the token then there is a generate ph token code and then is validate token code so these are the pre-generated code you can use directly to get the your JWT authentication working and if you notice there is a postman import file generated which will be useful for your for immediate testing so you don't have to worry how you can test this API you can just host this API use this postman import file and then import it to postman to test the API we will see that later in this video okay so now i have the code generated so i need to host this code to my server so i have a jam server installed in my system which is something like this i will copy these files copy these files go to my st access st docs go to my st docs paste all the codes here and then try to see if this code works or not so i have a local host 82 is my code and then bike store is the my folder name so if i try that so you will have a list of all the APIs which is available for you to test. Now how to test this API. So I have Postman installed in my local machine. So I need to import the file. So I'll click on import and then I will browse to my REST API. So this is there. So I need to import files from here. So I'll just use this drag and drop down here 
to import the file so this is bike store api i have generated as a project name import this and if you notice i have the list of all the api which i can test so you have token generating upload files are there upload image is there fcm notification endpoint is there send email or endpoint is there get all is there get by id is there search is there search by column is there so all the api is generated automatically and then i have environment variable which is in postman which will help me to automatically set the token and everything for all the endpoints so this is my api url localhost 82 so i'll just paste it here so this is my url which will be used for api so i have set my environment variable to that url and then if i go to token generation i can see there is you need to select that which environment is selected and then you need to pass your username for the token generation so in our case we have used customer table as a authentication table so i will go to customer table select the username as the email and then password is there encrypted format so that i will do test one two three i guess that should be the correct password and when i click send should generate the token and if you see once here in the environment variable this token is automatically set so that that will get repeated so this is the code to set the token automatically so now if I go to any endpoint like product get all I should have a valid product list with pagination like total count is 3.22 page size is 30 and I can change the page to get the new record so that will work then you can have get by ID so let's say I have 31 number so I'll go to this endpoint I'll look for 31 and I should have the product of 31 now if I want to have a search like I want to search for this keyword witness day so I can do a search by key and it should result me all the result based on that search then you can have search by column like let's assume I want category name so have a search by column where or and and condition is there so I want let's assume I want and instead of or and then I want to put some logic here so I don't want this many columns I just want two column with and condition so one column is category name should be equal to mountain bikes okay so this uh, notice one thing this category name is a foreign key to that product so I we need to use category ID so I want let's category ID equal to instead of like 6 so I will say 6 here and and condition is there and I will say brand ID equal to you have 8 so it is 8 so I should get a record this is not valid so let's send it and see i will have a record brand and category is equal to six so i can even do instead of and i can do a or and then and send the search and then if you see that brand id here is nine but category id is six brand id here is eight and both is six so this can this this search by column can be used dynamically based on your column name okay so now we have add in point so let's try to add a new product so i'll just to make it fast i'll just copy it from here so i have let's assume this code 
just name so if you notice i need only this column so this category name brand name is coming from the foreign key i just need product name brand and this values so i'll let's assume i want to have me some product one test this is the name of the product i want to insert it's a valid json you can beautify it here and then send so this is a post request authorized with token let's send this and pro product is created so three to two three product is created i can do a get by id and i should have a, this product created now i want to update the product so i can directly take the same thing so i will have to pass on the value for the update so i want to update this and the id i need to say here is so in this one if you notice this is the id so that column i need to have for the update because based on this primary key it will update I can do a send here and then update it successfully. I can if I retrieve it again, it will get me the updated value. Now there is another endpoint which is update patch. So if you see it here, I can have I want to update, let's assume I want to update just the product name. So what I can do, I can take this product ID column here paste it here and then I say that I want to update just update product name for me so it's a patch so I don't have to pass all the column and then send it so update it successfully if I try to fetch it again 323 three. so it's updated and then you have a delete so I can just pass the product ID 323 correct 323 and send it so if product was deleted so if I try to find it I should not get that product does not exist so all the endpoint get automatically generated so that you don't have to write a lot of logic you just need to concentrate on your business logic and you will have everything generated at one go so this was the code and this is the generator this server we have this is the generator we have so once you log in it will retain your email id and then fetch from the valid license whatever the license you have so for me it is valid for so many days so i can use it's linked to your system so once first time when you register it will be only work on that particular system so you need to take care of which system you are running there are some links i have posted like discord link is there some documentation like you can connect with me through skype and you can browse my website get automator for more details i am working on the videos and support documents some documentation how you can learn php or any other language so please subscribe to the channel so that you will get a notification if i make publish some videos related to tutorials or something productive thanks a lot thanks for watching